Okay, time to build a racetrack and racing some cars on it. Uh, so the end result would look something like this. Okay, first off we delete the cube, select it, press delete, then we can press shift A to add some kind of ground plane. And I think it we need it to be at least maybe 50 meters. Something like that. Great. So we can look upon it from top and we can add a curve shift a curve and I want to add a busier curve like that press tab to enter edit mode let's scale it up like that we can drag it up here and take this one and now we can just shape the track how we want but it will also be easy to change it later on so no worries so we just press E to extrude this one rotate it Press S to scale it up to get a smoother curve. And then we need to add an, an end this loop in a way. So we rotate this like that. And maybe we can just delete this one. So X and delete that one and select these two and press F. Yeah, and let's move this one over here and maybe scale it up a bit. Okay, so this is our track, uh, and as you can see, we made a mistake here, so let's just enter edit mode again, press A to select everything, and then press S to scale, and Z and 0, and enter. And it's a bit up from the ground, but it's okay. So we can exit edit mode, we have this selected, we can call this, double click here, and name this road. And the plane we can call ground. Great. Okay. So now I want to add some road to this road. There are several ways to do this, but I want to try to do it by help of geometry nodes. If we go here, I don't need this one, so I right click and close this area. And I now I only see the curve. Okay, so let's press new and I get a group input and a group output. And what I want to do is, from this curve, I want to make a mesh. Um, so let's press Shift A, search for a, for a curve to mesh. So curve to mesh. Great, we add it here. We can't see anything yet, so we need to add a profile curve. So let's press Shift A and curve line. See if we add this one here and drag it over here, something happened. It doesn't look right because it isn't. So we set this to zero and I want it to go in X. So this, and I want it to be maybe one meter wide, maybe no, two meters wide, like that. Great. But I also want it to have some kind of thickness. So to do this, we need to extrude. So let's press Shift A search for extrude extrude mesh great and since this is already curved to mesh so this is a mesh we take this mesh and drag it into here and now we need to combine these two nodes in a way so let's search for something to join them join geometry let's put it here and let's put this one here and right now it doesn't look great so let's change this to edges and let's change the scaling down to something like that. And if we now go and look in another shading mode, yeah, I think it looks pretty okay. But right now we don't have any materials, so we need to fix that. So to add a material, let's press Shift A, search for mat set material. Great, so we let's put this one here, but we don't have any material yet, so we need to fix that. So let's add a new one, let's call this road surface. Great, and for now we just make it gray. Great, and over here we can choose this one, so road surface. Great, and now I want to add some other color to the borders of the road. So let's set this material, let's just duplicate it, so shift D and drag it over here. So we need another 
a material so let's press the add sign here and let's just press a new one and just to make it easier i want this to be really really dark blackish material so let's call this border black great and we need to change it down here perfect and, and right now you can see there are kind of hard edges here we don't want that so one way we can do this we can set the resolution higher like this you can see it's starting to get better another way to do this is to add a subdivision curve maybe here you can see it's now really smooth so th this this looks good let's go with that okay so we have the materials oh we need to have some kind of green grassy or something down here so let's just add a new one let's call this one grass great let's make it greenish and darkish great okay so let's continue so i also want to add a jump to my track and i think it would be great to have some right here so let's select the track and press tab and we can actually go back to layout mode and uh, select let's select these and press e and z and drag them up and we can take this one and just drag it g and y drag it over here take this one this side g and y and drag it over here and i think we also need to rotate this one so r around x like that and we can select these two and press uh, right click and subdivide so let's take this one drag it down g mm. so that we can also scale it out in y so something like that yeah so we have a jump and we have a track great so let's save so i want to add one of my cars and we can delete this light let's go to a file append and you go to a place where you have made a car or something like that okay so now i have added my lambo and i see now that the track might be a bit too small so let's just select all of these and scale it up uh, yeah something like that and if you look through the camera yeah we need to fix that so i want the race to be the view something like this and now you can see that we have gotten clipping issues from the camera so let's select the camera and we can go clip start and clip end we need to have a higher value for the clip end okay great okay so now we need to add a guide for the car uh, so the car knows how to drive and to do this i want to look upon this from the top and i want to add a new curve so shift a curve and we can add a busier curve like that let's enter edit mode and scale it up scale it up scale it up okay and drag it over here oh and i see we are under the road we don't want it to g and said said let's just drag it up we can fix this later on so now we want to make um a good driving line for lamborghini so let's start out by moving this one over here we can take this one we want to drive as straight as possible in the curves okay so we can select all of these and just scale z zeros just to be sure that they are all in the same line and g and z and maybe drag it down like that actually i think we should drag this down through ground as well so g and z and draw down 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 like that okay great and now we should try to fix the jump and this is uh, and we can actually select these two and just hide them by pressing h so we cannot select them so g and we take this one and we want to add the jump is up here somewhere we need to scale this down and we need to back this up 
so G and Y. And this is a bit uh, tricky to get the car to move correct at the jump. So and then we add another one, G and down and we land here somewhere. Great. And we can actually just select this one, activate the vertex snap and take, we can just drag it up like this and then G and Z and snap. And now we are at the same level as this one. And we can select these two and press F. Uh, and as you can see, this curve is no good. That will not work. So G and Y and drag it back a little bit. And I think this is also too, I think we need to do something like that. Yeah, I think we can make this work. And we can press Alt H to remember to add these two. And I think this need to change to G and Y. Just move the points until you're happy. And this la landing seems to be quite hard. We cannot have it like that. So let's move this one G and Y. And this one G and Y. Okay. This is something to start with at least. Okay, so let's make this car move through the curve. So I want to uh, first off select the car and I want to, where is the car? Yeah, and I want to add a empty on the car because this will make it easier to uh, drift the car. So we add a plane axis. Let's just scale it up. We can press Control H. Uh, all transformation to deltas yeah great and then we set select the car and then the empty and press ctrl p to set the parent to the object great so if you now m move this great and this is select the car point of origin is over the front wheels and it's great okay so now we take this the empty and we go to uh, constraints and we want to add a follow path. Okay, and the path should be this one. Let's call is let's call this the path Lambo. Great. Okay, so where is my car? Here is my car. Perfect. So let's lower this down until we are at the right height. So let's press G and Z and drag it down and we hit the ground. Great. Oh, this is a thin track, but that, that will work. And we can set the um, timeline to 150 like that. And if we select empty and if we now drag it, you can see the car will move. But here it doesn't look correct because we want it to follow the curve. And this is not correct, so we need to change the forward axis. And that should be X. And if I now drag it, it looks correct. Great. Uh, and let's just check the jump. Does the car lean? Yes. Okay, great. So if I now want to animate this, I will go and set this to zero, be at frame one and hover here and press i and then i go to frame 150 and press 100 and you can see there are some kind of animation already from the car and the reason for this is because i actually imported a car that already had animation on it so no worries we just select all of these and press x delete keyframes great drag it down press N and go to the item and just uh, zero out the rotation. Okay, so if you now look upon this, okay, it's driving, driving, jump, and it's slowing down. I don't want it. I want it to have the same speed uh, all the time. So we go to animation, the animation tab, and we can actually change this to graph editor. And let's find the car, this one, and you can see how it starts to accelerate. And then 
can press this and then slow down. I don't want that. So let's right click and change interpolation mode to linear like this. And if you now look upon the animation, you can actually go to layout. It's driving, it jumps, it drives round and round and round in a perfect loop. Great. So this is the end of part one of this race track tutorial. In the next part, we will add some lights to the car, add some fire and some other cool effects and uh, also render the animation out. Thanks for watching. If you like stuff like this, please give me a like and subscribe. Bye.